Welcome to this new emission of the Fire of Prometheus, this time entitled Dealing with Volume. This is the reading I give to this universal problem, and by any means I am pretending to say this is the ultimate solution to this annoying uh, sickness which affects the whole world. I am Gonzalo Valdivia Davila, degree in literature, and I am boarding this topic not as a pedagogue, but as a humanist and a man of letters. I must begin this lecture with a rhetorical question for all the people involved in this problem uh, could they parents bullies victims teachers uh, say no to bullying with the same concern and attitude to build a culture of peace and coexistence in society. I want to assume what are the common flaws of school teachers. First, very few of, the, of them have uh, arrived to question the power bullies brought for their inflated ego or self-esteem. So if teachers talk to them and let they know that after school they will be alone without that environment where they raging, causing suffering and they will be apart from the tool of progress. Maybe their victims have mastered, they could realize this is a full game or is his teachers talk to them quietly uh, with, with calm and say, explain that they will be out of the affordable borders of coexistence with this attitude because nobody wants to suffer humiliation and they will be refused by normal people. Then the second flaw is that in so many schools teachers have demonized the natural uh, instinct or the spontaneous response of self-defense in victims telling those kids who simply try to stop the body or defend it in a moment of anger. You are acting as a bully. This is bullying in return. You are returning violence. So all these uh, sentences make the victims feel in a narrow and isolated corner. So different from the, the kids who don't suffer this, uh, this treatment, this this bad uh, 
sensation of annoyance, uh, uneasy, uneasy, etc. So, for teachers, it is more convenable to uh, appeal the human sciences, sciences, the humanities, and extract samples of these subjects, these matters, to illustrate, to re-educate, and to model the conscience of the whole group of their students. For example, it is said in, in almost all countries uh, to look different causes bullies to prey on those kids who uh, uh, don't uh, don't fit in the usual biotype don't fit with the current way of of talking of expression and so on but if a teacher even a school teacher reads talks make inferences he or she could demonstrate hey class listen to me for a while to be different is not a, a pretext to suffer bullying because all societies are made from different ethnics different uh, little groups of several nationalities um, also different languages that interact that meet together in the same uh, scenes or scenarios and all participate in the development of society in different proportions but at the same time this is coexistence and no one pretends or wants to be a part of the will of progress of the engine of society no one wants to be far away from the common destiny of his nation so with these examples from ethics from moral even from religion for example if we recall this quote if you receive a slap on the left cheek turn to your foe your right cheek this is not a, a quote where the Lord Jesus Christ says to humanity if someone attacks you uh, let him or, or her annihilate you is to show the other cheek means <clears throat> show your dig dignity show your human nature to your foe show your human quality that meets the standard he or she would recognize common between you both so this is what teachers must strive for bullies are more far from language 
than victims. Victims are uh, kids, uh, people more reserved, and they are with the less chances for overcome this awful situation. For parents and teachers, is not also the the responsibility of support, but to talk, to model also confidence. I must retake my previous point. What happened if a kid fight back? No, he answer the violence with a strike with a, a technique or or he was no not so violent and maybe he grappled with the bully to control him to re reduce him with so less damage for those teachers who <clears throat> keep in mind that the natural defense is a demonic action. I I must say to all them that for a kid to learn self-defense from martial arts, from a system of combat, is not only a, a physical and mechanical process. It's also a period of inner transformation, a, a whole journey where he or she must develop confidence. And confidence is not a natural gift. Confidence is moderated, is modeled, is developed and altered by your uh, most uh, uh, significant experiences. So, building a culture of peace is a task for all society. It's a task which began, which began in a school, and the change of focus, the change of common judgment uh, would lead to a better understanding of people um, among among them themselves. Uh, I want to remember you that when a bully um, pursues a smaller kid, he or she invades the private, the personal space of the victim. So the response, the attitude of the defense, the spontaneous uh, way to fight for a void operation is a um, natural desire from mind, from the heart, from the spirit to recover this space which belongs to all us as human beings. I want to thank you very much for your company and I only have presented my ideas to uh, contribute with my 10 cents to uh, a sustainable solution of this problem. With me, Gonzalo Valdivia Davila will be until the next chance. Goodbye. Staying fine. Thank you very much.